Sup y'all, hope everyone's doing okay. Dave here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to fix a cabinet door that will not close properly. And when it closes, it kinda of stays open like so. And as you can see, there is a giant gap. And that just doesn't look good. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that. You've got two hinges that hold this cabinet door and you can see right now that they're pretty loose. This one's held in by a Phillips head screw. So I'm just gonna tighten that like so. And the bottom one's a little loose too. I'm gonna, no, bottom one's actually pretty good. So let's see how it closes now. Not bad, a lot better. But as you can see, there's still a slight gap here. And the uh, shock absorber right here is not sitting flush with the cabinet. So we're gonna make a couple other minor adjustments. So there's two ways you can adjust these hinges. And it's just a right turn or left turn. This is gonna move the cabinet door in. That'll move it out. I think we want it out a little bit. And there's another adjustment here, which will move it back and forth this way. So you can go this way and this way. And the same on the bottom. You just gotta kinda play with it until you get where you wanna be. See how that comes out? And if you turn right, it comes back in. But I think what we need to do is adjust this bottom one. I'm gonna push the bottom one out slightly. And let's see how that works. Much better. The gap is super minimal at the top, but if you look, it's not really level with the cabinet next to it. So we're gonna keep making adjustments to those hinges until we get that level so it looks nice. In order to get this level, we have to raise this cabinet slightly. As you can see, the screw is not, the screw is all the way up. So what we wanna do is loosen this slightly, loosen the top one, and then we're gonna lift up on the cabinet door and then tighten it to raise it just ever so slightly. We'll do the same with the bottom. Tighten it. Much better. Now let's say the screw that's going into the cabinet is stripped and this isn't the case here, but you just keep turning it and it just keeps turning and keeps turning. You've got a Instead of using a bigger screw, take that hinge off real quick. I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do to fix cabinet doors and tons of other stuff. One way to fill a hole, um, you can use wood glue and wait, you know, 20 hours, 24 hours for it to settle and harden and then put the screw in. But what I do is I use toothpicks. Just shove a couple of toothpicks in there like so, get them nice and tight. Grab yourself a hammer, hammer them, off, hammer them home, break it off so it's nice and flat. Now you have some more room to grab with the wood screw. and that will make the screw a little more secure and you won't have to be tightening it every month or two. So this repair should last quite a while. If you wanna take it a step further, go ahead and put some wood glue in there, then screw it in. The wood glue will harden, make it even more secure. Now 
that's it for today. Hope this helps you all out. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any other techniques for aligning and securing cabinet doors, please leave a comment below. If you like the videos I make, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to get updated whenever I upload new content. Until next one, catch y'all later.